Folks, we're back with a early summer table. Somebody said we were overdue right here on my take on Home and Garden. Okay guys, here we are. We're on a roll. We're gonna build a beautiful early summer centerpiece for our table. We're gonna put our pine in, you know, that we use for an oasis. I chose this cute wicker basket for early summer. We're gonna get some of the things that we might want to use. Now my big thought to you on this arrangement for early summer. What's different about it than Easter? To me, it's we had to get rid of pink and the violets. Those pastels just scream Easter and spring. So we're in late spring, coming into summer for this table. You saw earlier, we went with a heavy fern. These are a lighter ostrich fern. Okay, we're gonna come out with our formal balance. One on each side, right about like that. I wanna make sure you know that we're using this gorgeous white tablecloth. It's 144 inches in the damask style. And I chose this light gold beige runner for the center for today. So we're going to end up here in the middle. So you want to get an idea of, you know, how long you want your centerpiece. Now, this is probably the smallest array of colors that I have is the yellow, but I'm going to show you how it doesn't really take that much. I want these gladiola on the ends to give me that length. Now I'm going to bend them like you've seen me do because I don't want to cut them. And that's kind of pointing the way to the length of our piece. Look how dramatic, huh? Bend that up the shape of the basket so I don't have to cut the stem. I don't want to cut them. Then I can use them in a tall vase some other time. Now they got these neat long leaves and we'll want them bent down below our piece there a little bit. Let's get some of this behind. Alrighty. Now the body you're just not going to look good if it's all yellow. You want contrast. So we're going to use some white here. And I'm going to take this double dahlia and establish our height. Maybe with that. Okay, and then these creamy antique peony. And we're going to get them in. One on each side to start. Start filling this basket. Let's fill that on both sides as even as we can. I think we need one more of those. Let's try just above the greens with this yellow budding branch on both sides because we're formal and we're going to go to the back with that. We have some real summery little daisies here. Let's see if I want to use one. Here's one, our little daisy bunch again. And it's different because it's got a little bit of peach colors. Now, now yellow roses, how are you going to beat it? We're going to come up in the middle and in the back. We're going to do that again. And we're going to, you're going to see how this is going to get balanced because it doesn't look right yet, does it? The ends are crazy and wild and 
we need to come up here in the middle and we're gonna tie this together if you give me a chance so it's looking like four of those on that side we don't want to forget our front and center because it looked funny now we're gonna get some of them in there as well look at this I don't want to see any gaps like we're broke or short of flowers you know <laughs> no we want to strategically get that baby's breath in and bust up that yellow and we're gonna tie the whole thing together with those and see how that works even though we're formal we don't want to be exactly do this exact same on each side that just wouldn't be right let's look at our height the right side is up so we're gonna pull that down perfect that there's one left because that was a little light now I want you to see you know you can buy a bunch I've showed you time and time again and cut it up for a bargain and get a bunch of picks like this out of it I want you to see what this does some of you you've seen it before but what this does okay it just takes you to that pro level space them around in between look for bare spots spots that aren't interesting or in need of something come up a little higher to show them off and give that arrangement some dimension see here white and white and cream and white and cream alrighty now folks the inspiration for today's table you guys have only seen them once and most of you haven't seen them yet this incredible set of Bavarian dishes in the 22 karat gold rim by Heinrich and company and it's called meadow and look at the glory in the flowers in this <laughs> I get so excited about it because it's really really special I hunted this down for quite a while and I have a extraordinary large set of it and look at the platters I mean they're just fantastic and I've got all the chargers on and we're gonna get those platters going and we're gonna get our ancillary pieces going as well Look at this. Now we're doing a certainly a formal table today. But some of it is not stuffy formal. You know, like the uh, white on white, I love for these and in, in, in the spring. Now the other thing you'll notice is we have the gold rim and that you know what I'm gonna say it's gonna dictate what silverware I use <coughs> I 
<laughs> which isn't silver at all, but the gold flatware. I want 100% cotton napkin with a gold ring, napkin ring. They don't cover up the beauty of the plate because all the beauty is in that outer ring. So we're going to catch them up and we're going to have a knife, a dinner knife and a dinner spoon on the right. The blade of the knife faces the plate. And we're going to have the dinner fork and the salad fork on the left. Okay, so we have a salad plate for five. And it's a luncheon plate. Now, yes, I'm very fussy about something in between. You've heard me talk about it, most of you that have been with us before. Keep your things nice. Put a paper or a plastic in between the plates and really help it out. Your things will last longer. <laughs> Unscathed by the barbarians at large. So we'll want a bread plate and we have a cream and sugar with this set. We got coffee coming down here. We're gonna have a bread and cracker plate. A meat server. We have a gravy boat. Look at that beauty. Two vegetable serving bowls and an incredible terrain. And I've found most of this set just in groups at a time. Just unbelievable. Now we need a wine glass at almost 12 o'clock. Then I'd like to come around like a clock and we're gonna have a water glass. Now tonight we're having a prime rib, so we got the Stella Rosa, Italian, semi-sweet red, wonderful, just wonderful. Alrighty, then we need salt and pepper setups at both ends when you have a table like this, and we're going to have the vinaigrette for those. I think I've got to take you and show you all around.
So folks, if you liked our early summer table today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send your buddy over. <laughs> we'll take care of him. And you can follow us on Instagram. Thanks guys for coming by. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Don't forget to subscribe, you newbies. And you won't miss a video. Take care now. And remember our wonderful meadow pattern by Heinrich of Bavaria. Take care now and we'll see you soon.